All right, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the EcoFlow Glacier. This is a three-in-one dual zone fridge with an ice maker. Also, it has its own battery system, so you don't even have to plug it in. So the kind folks over at EcoFlow sent me this um, just to kind of check out and review. I know for me, this type of thing has been something that I have needed. Um, a fridge to keep all of my goods nice and cold and even frozen while I'm out making videos for you guys. And <laughs> one of the things that really sparked my interest in it was the ice maker, of course, because who has an ice maker? <laughs> Look at that thing. Yeah, it's got an ice maker, which is quite the luxury while you're camping. I know that for sure. To be able to have ice on the go, it's pretty cool, you guys, pretty cool. This is kind of just an overview for you guys for this fridge. You might have had a little sneak peek of this in the last video, if uh, you were paying attention. It kept all my food nice and cold and fresh um, on my long trip, which I think is what this is going to be great for, you guys. Okay, so we'll just take a look at it real quick. It has dual zone compartments here. So one can be a fridge, one can be a freezer, or you can have it a fridge, freezer. Um, as you can tell, one side is actually bigger than the other. So depending on what you have, um, that's what you're going to use it for. Also, check this out. You can pull out the divider and make it just a single zone fridge. And also what is really cool is that it stores right up there. Um, when I was looking at some of the other fridges, they didn't have a place to store this. And I was always wondering, well, what happens if I lose it? <laughs> so when I saw that, I thought, man, that's genius. Of course, that's what you got to do with it. <laughs> So now it is a single zone fridge and it will kind of go into its own little thing here. And then once you put it back, converts to a dual zone. You can't go wrong with some drumsticks while camping, you know. Oh, also some of my favorite little sodas, New York seltzers. I had these on the last video too. Nice and cold, you guys, nice and cold. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but it is raining out here, but that's all right. The Glacier is IPX4 rated, which is basically splash waterproofing. So it can handle a little bit of a downpour, which we know can happen when you're out camping. Also, lift with your legs. This thing comes in at 50 pounds. It's not terrible for a muscular man like me, but hey, <laughs> joke, it's a joke but you don't have to carry it very far if you opt for the optional detachable lever and wheels, which makes it way easier to transport. But for me, I don't really know how much I'm gonna be moving it around. Uh, it'll probably just sit in the bed of the truck or in the cab. All right, let's talk about the power source. A 300 watt power brick. You can charge it through the type C or you can also power other devices, which is really handy for me because I have all types of like camera equipment and things that I gotta use out in the field. It can even power my laptop, which is really cool. Now that is not included with the price of the Glacier, so you do have to buy the battery pack separate. Kind of a bummer. But they're having a really good fall sale right now, so I'll leave a link down below for you guys. That way you can check it out and kind of price it out for you yourself. As far as battery life goes, EcoFlow claims 40 hours on single zone, and you get about roughly half of that uh, when you do the dual zone fridge. But also one thing to think about is how much you use the ice maker because that does suck a little bit of power. But we'll check that out here in just a little bit. Now, as far as power input goes, you have an XT60 cable connector right there, which when you purchase the Glacier, you get an AC power adapter as well as a car charging cable. The car charging cable has been really great for me um, just for the fact that I can plug it in. It'll charge the battery while I'm off on my adventure. And then when I get to camp and overnight, this thing will just power itself. I don't have to bring along another like power pack or anything like that. In addition, they also have solar panels that you can purchase that will plug right up for this and keep the thing topped off, ready to go. But you gotta have a sunny day for that. All right, let's check out the ice maker. <laughs> Woo! So you've got these little like rods and they get super cold really fast. And that's what makes ice. Pretty cool. So you have a minimum and a maximum line there. We'll see. Uh, We'll go to the maximum and see what happens. All right. We're going to make ice. 
Now the controls on this are pretty simple. You got power on and off, but you also have the ability to change each zone. So you can go up to whatever it is you want on each one. And it will do what it needs to do to get it down to that temperature. To make ice, you just hit this button right here. And you have two options. You have small or you have large. We're gonna start off with the uh, small and see how long that takes. So it's saying about 14 minutes. Things start to kind of kick up there, as you can hear. We'll see what happens. So I'll start a little timer here, a little digital timer, and we'll see how long it takes for it to make small ice. Now what I did notice, because I've been using this for a little bit, you guys, is that the first time you cool it down, it does take a little bit longer. Um, that's just because it's gotta do its process, you know. But after you make the first batch, it seems to get a little bit quicker and a little bit better. So that's something to remember. There is a button you gotta push, which is detach. So once you hit that, you get a countdown. And what it's basically doing is heating up the rods so that you can pull out the ice. It makes it much easier. Oh, some of them are detached already, so that's cool. Three, two, one. Got some ice. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. We got some ice in there. Go ahead and just kind of release them. Now you got this scoop they provide for you, or what you can do grab yourself a little uh, container that you want to keep your ice in. And there's a hole right here. Just go ahead and dump it in. Look how easy that was. Oh, oh, we got some nice ice. Woo. <laughs> now what we can do is we can just throw it in the freezer until we're ready to use it. That's easy. So that took about 10 minutes and 50 seconds. At least that's what I got with my, uh, my watch. Now I didn't start it right off the bat, but um, it was pretty quick, fairly quick. I didn't really focus on it, but I looked back at the video and we had about 89% when we started and we ended with 82% uh, battery by the end of the first iteration of ice. All right, let's go for a number. Let's go for a large this time. We want the large ice. <laughs> we'll compare the two. We'll go ahead and hit start. See how long it takes. Now you don't have to sit around and just stare at this thing make ice. Though it's kind of cool. Because every gadget nowadays has an app. So we've got the EcoFlow app here. And all we got to do is connect it by Bluetooth to our phone. So right now it's showing that we are actually doing ice. And it's going to take us 13 minutes. Which the display over here says that as well. And up in the top right, we have the current temperature of what the fridge is holding. So we've got 28 degrees and negative two. One thing I've noticed is it's actually pretty cold out here. So the fridge itself kind of seems to be running a little cooler and it's not holding the temperatures that I want it to hold. I'll keep you guys updated on that in a future video. So then what I can do is I can just take my phone and stick it in my pocket go about my business, whatever I want to do. It'll ding when it's done. Pretty fall colors out there. Ah, and good coffee. Oh, oh, ice is ready. Oh, look at that. Ice making complete. So we'll just hit de-ice. Ah. 
I have had a couple times where it's a little hard to pull off. Um, so I've had to do it twice at least. Oh man. Look at that ice. That's much bigger ice. <laughs> Big old bullet cubes. Look nice. All right, time on that was 14 minutes, 40 seconds. We're down to 67%. So as far as ice goes, here's the small one. And here's the large one. Noticeable difference for sure, especially in the thickness. This one already has a hole in it. Some nice ice. Look at all that ice. Wow. That's some nice ice. Put it right there. Keep it nice and cool. Huh. Guess we could have one of these. cold beverage mm. oh man that's some good ice I can only imagine what it'd be like if I was on a beach or something ah. oh it's so nice and sunny out here with my fridge that makes ice oh yeah <laughs> Woo, yeah this is nice Oh yeah, ice cream. Can't forget that. Can't forget that on a nice, beautiful island. Mmm, that's really good. Brain freeze. Oh. In reality, I'm actually still here in the rain. But that's okay. Summer will be back next year. So when you're done with making ice and you still have water in here, there's a little compartment down here that all you gotta do is pop it open and let her drain. Ooh. All right, well that is the overview of the EcoFlow Glacier. Now I will be taking this on more trips, you guys, and kind of really putting it through the ringers. I'll have an updated video later on after I've used this thing in the field quite a bit and I'll give you guys another honest review. If you guys have any questions or maybe I missed something, Make sure you comment down below and ask, and I'll see if I can answer you guys' questions. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna link a couple of really good videos that go into really in-depth reviews of the glacier. So make sure you check those out next. Now remember, like I mentioned before, EcoFlow has a fall sale going on right now with huge discounts on a lot of their products, like the glacier. So make sure you check out that link below and see for yourself. All right, everybody. So that's it for me, you guys. A little bit of a review video. I figured I'd throw one of these in once in a while amongst my adventure videos. So if you guys have any other things you guys want to see, let me know in the comments down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching. As always, God bless, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye! Oh, brain freeze, bye!